Hi students today again i am going to start revision about from trade to territory in this chapter i am going to explain some important points you should listen here you are watching especially specific years according the years you may observe our indian history which is divided into three important to periods one is ancient to medieval and modern okay you observe ancient period medieval period and modern period especially modern period who are ruling over india as you may know britishers were there in medieval from <coughs> 7 bc to 700 bc you may observe 1700 bc means 700 to up to 1700 bc okay you may observe delhi sultans and mughals were there in our india okay students listen carefully according to the 14th 15th and 16th 100 you may observe here babar was there 1526 to 1530 he, uh, <coughs> he is one of the mughal dynasty first emperor he has started mughal empire and as well as you may observe uh, after him humayun akbar jahangir okay sher shah he is not a mughal ruler but uh, he occupied mughal throne and uh, sajahan aurangzeb bahadur shah etc you may observe uh, they have ruled especially hey, our india from 1400 means especially you may observe before that the sultans were there okay very good next uh, you see look here and uh, last three uh, shah alam to and akbar to and uh, last mughal emperor is bahudur shah to you may observe in 1707 you may observe uh, britishers uh, they started uh, here okay occupying our india okay they have doing some wars with our indian okay rulers and nawabs and governors and with uh, rajas you may observe and uh, finally they have occupied over all india so you observe there came actually for the doing trade means business selling and uh, purchasing but uh, from that uh, uh, concept uh, they finally they occupied our india so from trade to territory they started ruling here that is uh, we may call territory okay actually up to aurangzeb 1707 our india under the mughal rule it was there very strongly he is last uh, powerful mughal ruler who was he aurangzeb but after his death uh, okay all weaker rulers uh, came our india okay through them our india lost that <coughs> throne and uh, actually mughal rulers have appointed some governors okay some nawabs they also unable to okay <coughs> protect our india so finally european countries uh, occupied our india under their control okay not only that in due duration of say, this time some oyos or some of the persons came to india you observe here vasco de gama he came from portuguese when did he come 1498 you may observe at the okay uh, end of the mughal sultan and uh, starting of the mughal empire period you may observe and 1600 english company acquired a uh, chapter here 1600 you may observe uh, they stopped their company in our india and uh, 1616 okay janis you may observe see from the europe to india they came by ship okay they hey, are coming for here especially for the uh, cotton silk okay spices they want to okay purchase these things to their 
European side because in Europe uh, those days very high demand is there for the cotton for the silk and uh, spices so the Europeans uh, okay uh, sinking each other ship and they are coming to India for the trade actually but uh, after the longer time they started they want to occupy our India so here some wars were happen in the between uh, Britishers as well as uh, French and Portuguese and uh, France etc other persons you may observe okay Europeans uh, fortified their trading post in our India you may observed here not only that students uh, <coughs> the British set up the first English factory on the bank of the river Hooghly in 1651 along with a warehouse and a company office you may observed a <coughs> and you observed as trade expense the merchants and traders were asked to come and settle near the factory as the company began um, fortification around the settlement in 1696 and first english factory when did they have established yes 1651 where it was established yes at the river of hugli which is there in uh, west bengal now you may observe in kolkata at the place hugli river is flowing okay student you observed especially the company acquired zamindar's right of these three villages in 1698 by the bringing mogal officials mogal officials not only that from uh, 1658 to 1707 you may observed especially you observed from 1658 to 1707 aurangzeb has given permission to the englishers so the europeans got chance for doing trade here that's why you may observe the company even persuaded aurangzeb to grant duty free trading rights officials refused to pay the due on provide trade which result in enormous re- revenue loss of bengal you observe english company object by goods and ship in back to europe to earn profit they are purchasing our india for little uh, money so our farmers are getting uh, very less price but uh, these persons are Uh, exporting the all things to europe country and after they manufacturing and selling for a very high uh, and very uh, high price so that's why they are getting more profit but uh, our all indians <coughs> peasants and farmers were facing some of the uh, problems not only that students listen carefully here okay already uh, up to now we have seen here uh, india <coughs> east india company came to east okay and uh, you have seen okay from 1400 to 1600 and from 1600 to 1700 what the situation who are there we have seen now now see here at the time in our india very large dynasty was mogal dynasty you may observed at that time they got permission from the moguls so uh, east india company began trade in bengal in 1757 they started with more powers actually before that some wars has happened in the between okay britishers and uh, you may observe bahadur shah that's why in that uh, uh, <coughs> war bahadur shah was defeated by the britishers so he lost his kingdom as his uh, dynasty so britishers got full powers on the bengal they appointed uh, some nawabs like you may observe here uh, murshid kulikan 
ಅವಬ್ ಆಫ್ ಬೆಂಗಾಲ್ ಸೆವೆಂಟೀನ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಸೆವೆಂಟೀನ್ ಟು ಸೆವೆಂಟೀನ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಬಟ್ ಈ ಓಕೆ ಅಪಾಯಿಂಟೆಡ್ ಬೈ ದ ಬ್ರಿಟಿಷರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಹಿಮ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದಿ ಅಪಾಯಿಂಟೆಡ್ ಓಕೆ ಫ ಫರ್ ಕುಸ್ಟ್ರಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಟ್ ಬಟ್ ದೇ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ನಾಟ್ ಒಬೈಯಿಂಗ್ ದೇಮ್ ದಟ್ಸ್ ವೈ ಓಕೆ ಮುಸ್ರಿದ್ ಕೂಲಿ ಖಾನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅಲಿ ಅರ್ದಿ ಖಾನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಓಕೆ ಸಿರಾಜ್ ಉದ್ದೌಲಾ ಯು ಅಬ್ಸರ್ಡ್ ದೇ ಒಬೈಯಿಂಗ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಮೊಘಲ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಅಟ್ ದ ಟೈಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಓಕೆ ಸಿರಾಜ್ ಉದ್ದೌಲಾ ದೇ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಡನ್ ವಾರ್ ಇನ್ ಬೆಂಗಾಲ್ ಸೊ ಫೈನಲ್ಲಿ ದೇ ಆಕ್ಯುಪೈಡೆಡ್ ಬೆಂಗಾಲ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೆಷಲಿ ಯು ಅಬ್ಸರ್ಡ್ ಓಕೆ ಯು ಅಬ್ಸರ್ಡ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ದ ನವಾಬ್ ಡಿಮ್ಯಾಂಡೆಡ್ ಲಾರ್ಜ್ ಓಕೆ ಟ್ರಿಬ್ಯೂಟರೀಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಕಂಪೆನಿ ರೈಟ್ ಟು ಟ್ರೇಡ್ ಡೆನೀಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಏನಿ ರೈಟ್ ಟು ಮೀಡ್ ಕಾಯಿನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಫರ್ಟಿಫಿಕೇಷನ್ಸ್ ದ ಕಂಪೆನಿ ಡಿಕ್ಲೇರ್ಡ್ ದಟ್ ದ ಡಿಮ್ಯಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಲೋಕಲ್ ಅಫಿಷಿಯಲ್ಸ್ ವೇರ್ ಅನ್ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಟ್ರೇಡ್ ಕುಡ್ ಫ್ಲೋರಿಸ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ if the duties were removed their conflict led to the regular confrontations and finally uh, resulted in the famous battle of plassey you may observe student here especially you will see <coughs> about east india company came to east and east india company begins trade in bengal and how trade lead to the bottles how trade to the begin bottles and see here student about company company is not paying tax to the uh, <coughs> our local rulers and expending for fortification causing revenue loss to bengal okay disrupting nawab's administration so company has taken all over the powers under the control him so that's why company is uh, uh, irresponsible for the dollar of the dynasty why because they are giving little bit to profit to the king uh, and uh, they made him as a perpetual so bengal government um, unjust demands okay, imposing tax duties not letting them expand their trade okay this are the opposition of the bengal government you may observe okay that's why it is at the time so they didn't support to them at the time uh, one war is happened that is a battle of plassey see here siraj ud daula become the nawab of bengal after the death of uh, ali wardi khan this uh, warrior the company as they wanted a puppet rule who would grant them trade transaction and privilege they even tried to help one of siraj uddalov's uh, rivals become the nawab this made siraj uddawla angry and he asked the company to stop a uh, meeting in the political affairs stop buildings ports and pay the revenue so siraj uddawla asked uh, Uh, revenue means tax uh, and you stop your all uh, things so later siraj uddawla attacked the english factory at uh, kasim bazar captured company's officials locked the uh, or house disarmed english man and uh, black added english ships you may observe then on hearing this fair under the commanded of uh, robert clive were sent to negation you observe this all things also failed negation with the nawab led red port clive started against the siraj uddawla at the place where the siraj uddawla was defeated clive managed to secure the support of mir jafar one of the commanders of siraj uddawla in your of nawab's position mir jafar was made the nawab after siraj uddawla accession hume abzar 
the company soon realized that the even puppet knobs were not that helpful as they needed to maintain a basic appearance of dignity in front of the subject you may observe the battle of plassey which is happening 1757 at the duration of the governor general robert clive these you may observe the first uh, <coughs> time here company got uh, fin so this uh, bengal uh, was captured by the britishers you may observe here some objectives you may observe expanded their trade along with privilege from local rulers get involved okay internal affairs of prince states you may observe and as well as student were observing here british residency in lucknow and britishers okay some of the important places they have okay, established you may observe okay company officials become the nawabs you may observe here okay the company those accurate more power and authority the company officials wanted to give like a nawabs and those force the actual nawabs to give land and waste some of the money to company officials this is how to company officials enamed hug amount of wealth in india officials who managed to return with wealth become to lead flesh live and fletcher their riches were called nawabs now you are seeing here nawabs here me jafar me jafar one of the puppet ruler under the control of the britishers at the time who was there as yes, robert clive was there under the robert clive okay in bengal uh, there was uh, mir jafar he was uh, acted by okay how robert clive is saying at the time like that uh, he is doing uh, as well as you may observe after him mir kasim also one of the puppet nawab okay nawab of bengal in 1760 you observed like this mir jafar and kasim both are the under the <coughs> control of britishers at the time there was a okay robert clive was there as well as you may observe uh, such more the nawabs you may observe over that here you know everything especially this all things the company soon realized that the even puppet nawabs were not that the helpful as they needed to maintain a basic appearance of dignity in front of the subject when mir jafar protested he was abetted by the company and replaced by the mir kasim you may observe and at the time there was a okay one governor general he was robert clive in especially 1765 returned to india he became the governor between 1757 and 1765 at the time under the control of him you may observe the mir jafar khan if suppose i will ask in exam about mir jafar <coughs> you can write he was one of the puppet ruler after the death of the siraj udawla he appointed by the robert clive like that is brief explanation you have to write your own answer that's why you must have to read test book properly learn question answers you have to explain your own okay concept but this is based on the main question concept if i ask only write about robert clive at least you have to write about him robert clive if i ask siraj udawla you have to write siraj udawla if i write if i ask okay from trade to territory what did it happened huh? how did britishers become the okay rulers if i ask that one also you must have to write okay i, I have given your timeline and i explained only few important points 
I hope students you read test book properly and learn question answers. Be ready for midterm exam. Okay students, bye. We will meet once again in coming section. Okay, bye students. God bless you.